Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lauren's story rocks Deacon's world, and hope checks on Finn. At IL Giardino, Deacon questions Lauren who is surprised about her knowledge of sugar. Sheila was messaging with her before heading to Steffi's. Lauren respond to me. Who the hell is sugar? Lauren claims that the sugar she knows couldn't be texting Sheila or anyone else because she's in jail. Deacon asks why. Lauren thinks it's ancient history and she doesn't want to talk about Sheila or sugar anymore. Deacon Lauren bed and breakfast. Deacon does not want to worry her, but he has good reason to believe Sheila is still alive. Lauren yells, that is insane, and refuses to listen. Deacon yells, please Lauren, you have more history with Sheila than anybody else. You might be the only person who can help me figure this out. Lauren despises being the resident Sheila specialist and knowing what she knows about this sociopath. Deacon admits she may not know everything. He tells her that Sheila recently did something to avoid going to jail. Lauren knows she severed her toe. What does this have to do with Sheila's death? At the cliff home, a shirtless Finn greets Hope, who has arrived with Kelly's goggles. She wanted to check on Finn and see how he was doing following Sheila's death. Finn appreciates this, especially given how she feels about Sheila. Hope claims it's his birth mother. They conclude that it has not been easy, but Sheila has brought it on herself. Hope says he and Steffi won't have to worry about her again. More. Scott Clifton discusses why he did not want to submit for an Emmy. Finn informs Hope that her father believes Sheila may still be alive. It was minutes before the cremation, so there was no way to establish that the body had ten toes. Hope believes he's clearly misguided. Clearly, he is mistaken. We all know who Steffi killed that night. Sheila. In the main office, Steffi is considering Finn telling her deacon that Sheila is still alive. Liam knocked her out of her reverie. He notices she hasn't responded to his text messages and inquires as to what's wrong. Steffi sighs and tells him that just when you think you're ready to go on and finish a chapter, another idiot interrupts and pulls you back to where you were. Liam inquires, who's the idiot? Steffi answers, Deacon. She is struggling to come to terms with killing her husband's birth mother, and Deacon believes Sheila may still be alive. More. Everything you should know about sugar. Liam wonders if Deacon has lost his mind or something. Steffi dismisses his feelings for Sheila as insane. She died at home without a doubt. Liam claims that there is something in Deacon's head. Apparently, he thinks he saw ten toes. Steffi believes he saw incorrectly because he was worried out. He is dead wrong, and I say that literally because I know Sheila's not alive. Lauren makes looks at Ayel Giardino as Deacon describes following Sheila's body to the crematorium and peeling aside the covering to see her beautiful face before saying goodbye. She tries to flee again. But Deacon stops her and explains that just as she was about to enter the flames, he noticed ten toes. Lauren says it's impossible. She clipped one off. Deacon claims the deceased he mourned was not Sheila. Lauren says he needs to stop doing this. He must have seen something. Deacon is telling her that he saw ten toes. That was not Sheila. Lauren grimaced. Oh my god. Sugar. At the cliff home, Hope expresses concern to Finn about her father's delusions. Finn believes it's part of the grieving process. This is how his psyche deals with the loss. Hope believes he is attempting to preserve some aspect of Sheila's memory. Hope feels sad for her father and wishes he could just let Sheila go instead of attempting to convince himself that Sheila still exists. Whom does he believe they cremated? Finn does not know. He recalls that Deacon asked him if he hoped his birth mother was still alive. Hope inquires about what he told him. Finn assured him it didn't matter. Sheila Carter has died. In the main office, Steffi tells Deacon to keep his theories to himself. He's taken with Sheila. He cannot let her leave. He can't accept that she's gone. Liam claims that the last thing Steffi needs right now is someone gaslighting her into believing she is not alive. Liam claims that Deacon is clearly wrong, and no one knows this better than Steffi. Steffi replies, right? What is more plausible here? Either Deacon didn't see the toes clearly, or I murdered a stranger in my home and told everyone it was Sheila. According to Liam, there was also a thorough inquiry. They identified the body. 
Steffi claims Deacon is not living in reality. He would think differently if he were in her position. She has a flashback about the stabbing. It still haunts me. Deacon is wrong. I killed Sheila, and she will never return. More. Exclusive. John McCook's Emmy Confession. At I.L. Giordino, Deacon wants Lauren to tell him everything she knows about Sugar. Lauren has made numerous attempts to remove her from her thoughts. Sheila met her in prison. She was her warden. It wasn't long until Sheila worked her charm and persuaded Sugar to assist her flee. That's when they resurfaced in Genoa City. Deacon is perplexed when Lauren replies, They were one in the same. She mentions Sheila being in a psychiatric facility. Deacon does not get it. Lauren advises him to stop asking questions and start listening. He'll be as impressed as she was. Deacon bed and breakfast. They sit down and Deacon inquires about Sheila's placement in a mental health facility. Lauren responds, Or so I thought. She reveals that she thought she was locked up all along, until she discovered that it wasn't her at the mental institution. Lauren remembered telling Sheila, But I saw your face. Sheila told her it was Sugar, the warden who assisted her escape. They fled to South America, and Sugar gave up her face for the cause. She thought she was going in for a little boost but came out looking exactly like Sheila. Sugar was admitted to the lunatic asylum. Deacon inquires, What are you telling me, Lauren? Lauren responds, There's someone out there that looks just like Sheila. Someone with ten toes. Deacon exclaims, I was right. It was not Sheila who was cremated. She is alive. My God, Sheila is alive. Deacon's quest, Sheila slash sugar bomb, RJ and Luna's fate. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week of April 22nd, 2024 are available. Fans can anticipate RJ Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, to consider whether he can still be with Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada. Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, informs John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, of another sugar-coated hint. Deacon will also continue his mission to show he isn't crazy and that Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, is still alive. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week of April 22nd, RJ Forrester will still be dealing with the aftermath of Luna's confession. RJ approached Zen Forrester Dominguez, Dalon Metz. RJ also punched Zen in the face. After Luna and Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, entered, Zen surprised RJ by begging him to pardon the young intern. RJ will likely require additional time to process everything. RJ adores Luna, no doubt about that. Can RJ still kiss and be intimate with Luna? Or will he see Zen whenever he shuts his eyes? B&B Spoilers John Finnegan's Discovery During the week of April 22nd, fans can anticipate Deacon to be dealing with his Sheila findings. Deacon will inform Finn that he has discovered yet more clue that Sheila may still be alive. Once again, the clue will lead Deacon to Sugar. But first he must discover who she is and her relationship to Sheila. Meanwhile, Finn will be worried by Deacon's insistence on Sheila. Finn will continue to share his concerns with Steffi. Meanwhile, Hope Logan, Annika Noel, and Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton, may continue to worry about Deacon's sanity.